Good morning, everyone. We'll be working on outliers today and mathematical reasoning on a statistical data. The goal is to find outliers of a given set of data by using the measures of variation. So, what is an outlier? An outlier is a number um, that is too far away from the set. Let's look at, for example, this one. This is the outlier. This is the group of numbers that you have, but you have one that is a little bit far away from the group. So an outlier is a number that is at least two standard deviations away from the mean. Or you could also say that the value that lies outside, it means it's much smaller or larger than everything else in the data. Let's look at um, how we find them. So how do we find this outlier in a, in a group of data? Other than you can just look at it um, see what is a number that is too far away or we could solve them we can easily find all of your outliers by using the interquartile range or the IQR and the IQR contains the middle bulk of your data so the outliers can be easily found once you have that so let's see what we could have so again to check for the outliers we could set what well, some some call it boundaries i like to call it boundary also boundary like you can have, like if you want to go for check for the high outliers so q3 plus 1.5 times the iqr and if you want to check for the low one it's q1 minus 1.5 times iqr so the data points that lie outside the boundary to the upper right and to the upper left are considered the outliers. So uh, let's say for example your your high is two. Anything that's higher than two is an outlier. Let's say your lower is zero. So anything below zero is your outlier. Let's check some example. Let's do problem set one. Find outlier. So we have this math score 65, 88, 90, 90, 92, 96, and 100. So in order for us to find outlier, there are some steps that we have to follow. So first arrange in order. So it looks like it already arranged from least to the greatest. So we don't need to rearrange them. And next is find out the quartiles. So that's what we're going to do. Then find IQR, then solve for the outlier. So this is already checked. Let's do the next one, find the quartiles. So finding the quartiles, um, uh, we're gonna find the median first. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, there's seven of them. So definitely our median is the fourth number. So this is our median, which is gonna be our Q2, right? And then we find the lower uh, median of the um, lower set of the data and we get 88 and that's gonna be our Q1. We'll do exactly the same on the upper side and we get 96. And that's our Q3. We need these three numbers, I mean this uh, set of numbers to find for the IQR. IQR is interquartal range. We're gonna find um, a difference between the Q3 the highest quartile and the lowest quartile. So that becomes 93 minus 88. Oops, this is not corrected. Uh, 96. Okay, we're never perfect. So that's 96 minus 88, and that gives us 8. So now our IQR is 8. We need this to solve for the outliers. This is what we need. Remember the formula that we have? It says, um, let's look for the highest one. For the high, checking if there is a higher outlier, like there is um, above here. So let's see. So that's going to be, we're going to need 96 plus 1.5. Remember the formula in the last page? And then times our outlier, um, our interquartile, which is eight. So that's nine, ninety-six plus. So one point five times eight is twelve. Now we could add 
96 plus 12, that gives us 108. And then going back to our data, so if there is a number that's above, above 108, is our outlier. So if you are checking over here, there is no number uh, that is above 108. So there is no um, higher outlier. Let's check for the lower side. So for the lower outlier, we have um, 88. We're going to need Q1. So 88 and then minus 1.5 times um the intercardial range is sweet again we do the same one this time it's just gonna subtract it 88 minus 12 and that gives us i just want to make sure 88 minus 12 is 76 And then we'll look at our set of data. So any number that is below 76 will be the outlier. Okay, double checking. So in this case, we have an outlier. So outlier. We don't have outlier in the higher um, end, but we saw an outlier um, in the lower end. Any number that's below 76 is an outlier. And it looks like it is 65. So for this set of data, our outlier is 65. There could be two outliers if it is um, available or more, okay? So we have problem set number two, and this is our set of numbers, reading time in minutes. So first thing we should do, arrange in order from list to the greatest, then finding all those informations. So we have rearranged them um, in order. So let's see to find the quartiles. So let's check how many numbers are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So there are 11 numbers in the set of data. So our middle or median is the number um, sixth, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 24 is going to be our... Um, median so that's gonna be our q2 let's see it's our median for the lower quartile so one two three four five so it's it will be nine and here one two three four five so it will be 33 so 33 our q3 sorry and nine will be our q1 so with that, we could find our interquartile range, IQR. So that's going to be 83 minus 9. So, wait. Okay. That's going to be 33, this one, minus 9. So we know that 33 minus 9 is 24. So that's our QR. We need this to find our um, outlier. So to check if we have a higher outlier, Sybil so could say higher. Let me start here. Higher um, equals 33 plus 1.5 times the IQR which is 24 so let's do the math so they're gonna be 33 plus so that gonna be 1.5 times 24 is 36 so now we could have 33 plus 36 is um 69 Again, any number that is higher than 69 will be our higher outlier. So let's check based on our data. So here, based on this organized one, um, we have 71 and 84. So we already have um, 
71 so we put here outlier and then let's check for the lower one maybe there is so outlier so we have 71 and um, 84 let's check for the lower side so for the lower side so lower equals uh, we're gonna need q1 so 9 minus uh, 1.5 times the outlier which is 24 okay so lower is 9 minus we know that that's 36 so the lower boundary is 9 minus 36 and negative 27 so anything lower than negative 27 is our liar so again our higher boundary is 69 if there's upper than that is our liar and we see that there is 71 and 84 for the lower one anything that is lower than negative 27 is our liar and um we see that there is no number lower than negative 27 so there's no lower outlier in the lower boundaries so we could say that our liar for the set of data is 74 and 81 there we go all right so you could work um check in your google classroom uh what your work for the day um Finding outliers still, and you could go to Algebra 1, KK4, Finding Outliers. Alright guys, so you, uh, you ho I hope you learned something from this lesson and until next time bye